Hollywood. It's the Tom Likas Show. I got it. I got it. And now. And now. Here he is. Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. And I saw the picture in the newspaper. And of course, it's in West Hollywood. I live just above West Hollywood in the hills. But uh, there is a Halloween display on a home in West Hollywood that shows a likeness of Sarah Palin hanging by a noose. She's being hanged in effigy. And uh, even though you know that there aren't three people in the 90046 or 90069 who are going to vote for John McCain and Sarah Palin, a number of the politically correct residents of West Hollywood called in and reported this as a hate crime. Uh, I don't see how you could define this as a hate crime. It is a political statement. And hanging people in effigy is part of our free expression and part of our past. And, uh, in fact, it's been done uh, around the world, not just in the United States. And I don't see what the problem is. So now you've got people driving by the house to see uh, the there is a uh, um, an image of uh, John McCain sticking out of uh, a flaming chimney. And below him is uh, Sarah Palin hanging in effigy. I mean, what is the problem here? Why is this a problem? If you don't like it, don't look at it. If you don't like it, don't drive down somebody's residential street to go see it. People have a right to their opinion. They have a right to uh, political expression. And that is political expression. Period. I don't think anybody believes that the uh, the owner of the house advocates uh, violence or hanging anybody. It's a political statement. I understand the statement they're trying to make. And they're entitled to make that statement. The idea that people are calling in, phoning in complaints is just preposterous. If you don't like it, don't look at it. Period. I mean, do people get this upset about the fact there were folks trying to uh, plot to kill Barack Obama that we found out about yesterday? <laughs> people calling the police to report that somebody hanged Sarah Palin in effigy in West Hollywood. You got a problem with that? Tom. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likas Show. the Tom Likas Show at 1-800-5800-TOM in West Hollywood Sarah Palin hung in effigy do you know what that means? do you know the definition of effigy? from the dictionary definition number one a representation or image especially sculptured as on a monument Definition number two, a crude representation of someone disliked, used for purposes of ridicule. That's what it is. And it is a time-honored tradition. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. It's Chris on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Um, I'm just curious. If it was Joe Biden up there or uh, Barack Obama, you would have the same feeling? Um, I, I personally believe in freedom of speech and freedom of expression. I do. Okay. I, but I just think that there would be more outrage if it was one of them. And it seems like this is funny or I, I don't think that any, you know, political person should be up there where they're like, you know, it seems like, oh, they're, they're encouraging violence perhaps against this person? I don't agree with that at all. Hanging people in effigy has never been an expression of uh, uh, a call to violence. It merely has been, here's somebody people don't like or a group of people don't like. This is how we feel about them. 
if, okay, if if I but if I was to put if I was to burn an effigy, oh, Barack Obama, I would be called a racist. And uh, well, so why do you care what you would be called? A number of people are probably calling uh, this person on names. I have no idea. But what I'm just, I, my feeling is that the media is, it doesn't seem to even care about this. It's, well, but, hey, it, how do, what do you mean? It's, other, it's in today's Los Angeles Times. What do you mean the media doesn't care about this? Uh, you don't see you don't see it on the national media. I, I don't care about the national media. It's not a national story yet. Right now, it's a local story. It may or may not become a national story. I mean, one person in West Hollywood, California, hung Sarah Palin in effigy. That doesn't even sound like a national story to me. Well, of course it's a national story. This How is, is it a national is, story? Because this is someone who's running for office. So what? This is one person expressing an opinion. And one person yells out that Obama's a terrorist at a, at a, at a rally and all of a no, sudden... No, 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 no. It's not one person yells that at a rally. Uh, Sarah Palin uh, has been saying that Obama hangs out with terrorists. I mean, we, that word terrorist has been thrown around awfully liberally. But I'm talking about the one instance someone yelled out terrorist. It was a national media story. Well, again, uh, this is not at a, an Obama event or a McCain event. This is somebody's home in West Hollywood. I'm just saying that there's a double standard in the media. I, it is not a double standard in the media, because the fact is, this is in today's Los Angeles Times, one of the top stories. Well, you know, I, if, if I start seeing it on CNN, and then, you know, then, then I'll agree with stop you. Looking, look, stop looking for conspiracies, and just look at the story itself. If you're that offended by this, what do you think should be done? I'm I'm not super offended by it. I just think that if it was the other side, well, then the go ahead, go ahead, and, and go ahead and use your uh, freedom of speech and expression, and uh, have the balls to, to do it to the other side. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, and you know what would happen if I if I did? Well, this Obama, you know what? You, know, you should go ahead and defend your rights. But, but I'm not. And you do don't that. have the balls to do it, do you? No, of course not. No, I didn't think so. Uh, we have on the line with us the mayor of West Hollywood. His name is not Art Deco, by the way, though many people have said that's the mayor of West Hollywood. No, I think I said that. No, no, Jeffrey Prang is the mayor of West Hollywood. Uh, mayor Prang, thank you for joining us. My pleasure. Glad to be here. Let's talk a little bit about this uh, Sarah Palin being hung in effigy or hanged in effigy, uh, depending on uh, what your grammar is. And frankly, I'm still not sure of the grammar on that. But uh, uh, there are people calling the police in West Hollywood about this? Uh, people are, um, I think hysterical would be an understatement. My uh, my email has been burning all day long, there's been phone calls. There have been people who insisting that it's a hate crime that needs to be prosecuted, and and uh, um, that the that the military should be returned from Afghanistan and uh, launched against this household. That's a, that's an exaggeration, but uh, <laughs> but pe pe clearly people feel very 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 strongly. And um, it, it what's curious about this is uh, my guess is there are not a lot of people in your zip code who are going to be voting for John McCain and Sarah Palin. So I'm wondering who all these people are who are so upset. I, I did. Well, I did meet somebody in, in the community who was voting for John McCain. Um, really? Well, well, one. Um, one or two. Not, <laughs> <laughs> but no, not very many. Well, most of the communications I'm getting are from uh, um, outside of the area, out of state. Um, and from a lot of uh, a lot of states who and communities which are probably not very sympathetic to the priorities and values of uh, of West Hollywood in general. Um, but, um, uh, hanging people in effigy has has been a tradition on this planet for a very long time. It goes uh, you you can go back to the uh, to the American Revolution and they were hanging effigies of uh, of King George and uh, uh, one of the oldest oldest forms of. Uh, of political opposition, but you know, I I, I think the, the bottom line from my perspective is that I I appreciate freedom of speech, and these these young men are doing nothing illegal, nothing wrong. There is no uh, nothing to allow the government to uh, to take take any action whatsoever. They are expressing their opinion as part of their Halloween display, but I think we all recognize that with freedom of speech comes responsibility. In my view, is while they have the right to display. Um, their opinion of Governor Palin any way they want. Um, I personally strong any political speech that references violence, either real or perceived. You know, politics in this country has become so polarized and so ven venomous in recent years. I think we all have a responsibility to focus on our political differences in a thoughtful and peaceful manner. And I think there's m many better ways for these residents to uh, to express their uh, their opinion rather than through this display.
Of course, it would be dangerous if we started telling people how to express their opinion, don't you think? I, I do, and that's why I think they need they sh- we should appeal to them based on uh, on, on, on on reason, based on uh, effective uh, uh, opposition. And uh, you know, I'm not going to. We're not taking any action to bring this effigy down. They'll take it down if they choose to. Personally, I would appeal to them, say, take it down. It's not helpful to the Obama campaign. I also don't think it's you know they're they're gay men, and we have a very important ballot measure on the uh, uh, ballot next uh, next month, Proposition Eight. I don't think it's helpful to uh, uh, to draw this type of attention to uh, uh, to this issue, and just from a politically strategic point of view. Yes, I, I understand where you're coming from. In fact, we had a conversation about Proposition 8 on this program and some of the misleading advertising that's going on and the red herrings that are being tossed about uh, in, in, in that issue. I, I do think it's also interesting that a lot of the people who are demanding that the government take action to deny these young men um, their rights to their First Amendment rights uh, by using government authority are also some of the same people who uh, uh, are in favor of taking away rights from uh, from gay and lesbian people, the right to marriage, which has been with us for the last several months. Um, they don't seem to have as much objection about uh, uh, some of the things that have been shouted at these mccain Palin rallies where they uh, uh, shout kill him or shout terrorist or allege that he's a Muslim. Um, you know, there, there's, been, there's been lots of uh, lynching going on in this presidential campaign, and most of it's coming from the, uh, from the right, not from the left. Yes, I I understand. And uh, uh, is this causing, I have to imagine, uh, just because a photo of it appeared in the newspaper, and it's probably appeared other places, maybe on television, maybe I haven't seen it other places, but I can only imagine that it would make great video for the TV stations. Um, is this causing like a traffic nightmare on a residential street? Not that I've heard of. Um, I stopped by, by the home on my way home from work yesterday, and there was nobody there. Um, there probably is intermittent traffic going by. I've not heard that there's been any real issue with traffic or safety at this point. That would cause us to have to take some action if there was a, a public safety uh, concern. Yes. Well, I want to thank you very much for coming on with us. And a final question for you, which I've always wondered, would you be concerned at the end of your term if somebody running against you was named Art Deco? Because, as we all know, gay men love Art Deco. <laughs> I... Uh... <laughs> Yes, I would absolutely be, con- be concerned. I'd have to raise a little bit extra money. <laughs> and if, they, if, they, if they're simply going on fashion, fashion sense, they probably would beat me. <laughs> Thank you so much. My for pleasure. Thanks, sir. All right, there goes Jeffrey Prang. We got a laugh out of him. Good. I like that. He's the mayor of West Hollywood. Art Deco didn't run this time, but when he does, look out. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. And we're talking, and by the way, people from all over the country are calling the police department of West Hollywood. So maybe this is a national story. How are people all over the country finding out about it? <laughs> Let's say hello here to Chad on the Tom Likas show. Hey, how are you doing, Tom? I'm doing okay. Good, good. Uh, you know, a lot of times I was, you know, it's what people don't stop to think is, I mean, they they act on their emotion, they're they're angry, but uh, a lot of times when it comes to our, our freedoms and our liberties, we become a lot of times our worst enemy. Um, you know, we're always looking towards the government to not take away our freedoms, but I mean, if if this were to go through, if people were actually to press this and wanted to put into law that you cannot do this anymore as an expression of of free speech. Uh, we become, in a, in a sense, our worst enemy in, in, in regards to uh, infringing on our rights. I mean, this is, if, if people are saying, let's call it a hate crime, what's, what's, the, what's the code that is being broken at this point? What is the, the, the legal code that's in the law books that is being broken? And if they press it, and if they actually get it passed as a law, it becomes now a precedent to where no one will ever be able to do that again. And I, I think that would be would be horrible. And this this first caller, Chris, I think his name was. You know, it's funny. He sounds, obviously sounds like a Republican supporter, but it, it cracks me up. A lot of these the Republican supporters. How I mean, you've got the the Carl Robian style politicians. I mean, they are some of the dirtiest, uh, you know, the most underhanded type of politicians. And yet, they the Republicans love to act like the biggest victims when it comes to. It's like the guy that keeps slapping the alligator on the head, and when the, the alligator bites his fingers. They act like, why? I didn't see, I don't understand. Why did the, the alligators, you know, snap at my fingers? 
Well, uh, I understand what you're saying, Chad, and uh, all I can say is that, uh, uh, you know, again, uh, it, it isn't necessarily my way of expressing an opinion, if only because I wouldn't want people egging my house or trying to burn right. it down or, right. or worse. Uh, so I, I wouldn't go there. Uh, but uh, I certainly defend the right of people. Of, like, I'm thankful people have political opinions and they're paying attention. And I don't care what their political opinion is, and I don't care who they're hanging in effigy. I would never take away the right of people to hang someone in effigy. I agree. I agree. Hey, Tom, I uh, got a quick question for you. Yeah. You uh, you played a clip, I think it was yesterday, of uh, Joe Namath. Do you have that as a style of taking people out when he was drunk and he was a... Uh, Hitting on the uh, the sportscaster. Oh, you, you you want to start taking people out Joe Namath style? <laughs> that would be awesome. I was cracking up when I heard that. I think that's a great idea. Take people out Joe Namath style. You'll be the first. We're going to take you out Joe Namath style. Here you go. Joe, it's been a tough season for Jet fans. What does it mean to you now when the team is struggling? I want to kiss you. I couldn't care less about the team struggling. What we know is... We can improve. Chad missed Chad Pennington, our quarterback. <laughs> no, we'll have an edited version of that, but there you go. You've been taking out Joe Namath's style. <laughs> I want to kiss you. <laughs> I don't care about the team struggling. 1-800-5800-TOM-LUIS on the Tom Likish Show. Hello. Tom, how you doing? Doing great. Long time, second time. Thank you. Tom, um... A previous caller, a uh, couple of callers before, uh, he was saying that uh, this had made the national news, but it is. It was, I found an article on the uh, foxnews.com uh, telling about the uh, about this topic in uh, West Hollywood. And, and I, 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 I just got an email from somebody that says that it, uh, it's on CNN.com as well. Correct. And now I'm looking at it. There it is. I think it's, I think it's humorous, Tom. The media it's a liberal media. Yes, sir. The liberal media won't make a national story. There it is. I'm looking at it. Thank you. Thank you. Um, thank, thank you. I uh, love your show. Can you uh, take me out Lacey Peterson South? It's, yes. uh, it's the anniversary coming well, up. Well, it would be tasteless. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred. Yes, tasteless. It is one eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom, here's Scott on the Tom Likas show. Hello, hello, Tom. Hello, Scott. <laughs> What's up, Pop? No, hey, not uh, much. <laughs> hey, I seen this on Fox News last night. It was on. It was on Fox News on the Fox News Network before it even made the L.A. Times. Yeah, so, anyways, uh, it's on like Donkey Kong. I'm on my way tonight to go to the costume store to buy my uh, Barack Obama mask and make my, uh, string him up on the tree. And then I was hoping I could get a Michelle Obama costume, but I got an old gorilla outfit that might work, and I just stole a wig and a dress on it. So, yeah, it's wide open now. Well, that, are you, is that your imitation of Gavin Newsom? What? Yeah, whether you like it or not. So, anyways, hey, take me out tribal and then... But hang uh, on, hang it. on. Are you serious? Are you really going to do this? Oh, yeah. Yeah, and I'm going to put a big old NHRA lifetime member sign right next to it. <laughs> no, you're not. Yeah, NRA. Oh, well, why you give us your address and we'd all come see it. Oh, it, well, hopefully it makes it on the news. Well, well, it'll get on the news. Uh, and just tell us where you're located. We'll make sure it does. Sure, I'll see, I'll see some pictures. I'll give you my address when I'm done with it. Hang on a second here, Scott. John, what do you want to say to Scott? Well, it's it's pretty much what I would expect from, uh, you know, the, the very same people who are lining up, out proclaiming outrage about, you know, hanging an effigy. But they're, uh, you know, I, I don't pig wrestle, so I'll just leave it at that. Oh, God, I, I hate that. I hate that. I hate that when people say they, they won't pig wrestle. Usually the liberals. They, they, I don't want to get down in the mud with him. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. It's Walt on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey Tom. 
Uh, I just don't understand the Palin derangement. I mean, obviously, I agree with the mayor. You know, people have a right to do what they want or whatever. It's just that, you know, if, if, if something similar were done with Obama's effigy, I mean, people would be coming unglued. I mean, the media would be out saying a hate crime is committed. You know, there would be black civil rights leaders marching, demanding the guy be punished and all this other stuff. Um, and I think people are just projecting a lot of their own psychological problems on the pale. And I don't know what she represents or why she sort of attracts such a visceral uh, hatred. She's the, she's the queen of the democracy. That's why. Uh, what? The democracy. Well, you know, I'd like to see. I'd like to see some uh, IQ scores. You know, yeah, me too. I'd, I'd, I'd put Barack Obama's IQ score against Sarah Palin's any day. I mean, the best estimate I saw of her IQ based on her uh, SAT scores is somewhere around 120. So that's, that puts her at about the level of JFK. Well, again, you don't know what her IQ is. You're speculating. Yeah, but you can back it out from her SAT scores. No, you, re you, you actually you really can't. Some people are yes, just good. Yes, Some can. people know SAT you can't. Is a measure of general intelligence. It is not, you but it, it, it it is, there is no equivalent. Estimate. There is no equivalent between IQ scores SAT and SAT scores. Thank you. He just thinks if he says it long enough and loud enough, eventually it will win out. And I'm just not going to let it happen. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. George on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Tom, how you doing? Doing okay. All right. Hey, I um, saw these guys on the news. Um, they were talking about, you know, hey, why they were doing it. And they just said, basically, if I, I got to admit, when I saw it, the story, I, I, I kind of laughed. I, you know, I don't completely agree with it but i kind of thought it was funny anyway that being said um the guys were saying look if we know we know if we did this you know and it was obama you know everybody would be, really be going nuts but they were basically saying hey you know we have the right to do it, it ain't wrong and you know I, I gotta admit i agree with them that's the way it is freedom of expression don't like it tough luck tom like it 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likas Show. The Tom Likas Show at 1-800-5800-TOM. Sarah Palin hanged in effigy in West Hollywood. You got a problem with that? It's Leticia on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great. Great, great. Thanks for taking the call. Sure. Well, I've been listening. Um, and I think the problem with um, the original caller is that he doesn't gather his facts. And it seems as if many people, mainly people who vote Republican, don't gather their facts. And that's the scary part because then they end up voting based on their their opinion that has many holes in it i'm i'm more offended with the fact that they try to own the word american what exactly does it mean i mean people from south america people from central america they're americans too i mean who cares if they want to hang somebody it's not as if and correct me if i'm wrong but i saw the picture last night on cbs for maybe about us maybe six seconds or so and i don't recall seeing a knife stab through her eye or her heart or any blood I mean, am I am I wrong or am I right? Well, again, yeah. let's make it clear we're talking about hanging people in effigy. I'm sure you're opposed to hanging people for real. Absolutely, absolutely. But, see, I don't think people understand the difference. There is a big difference, you know, and, and that's the opinion I'm, I'm expressing that they don't gather their facts. They just assume that somebody's been, been hanged and they just assume the worst. You know, they're demanding that the government get involved. Well, I think that's uh, that's true, and uh, the people calling the police, come on, this is freedom of speech, freedom of expression, that's that. Right, right. I mean, I, I don't know, I, I get a kick out of most people that call, and, and I love I love the fact that you school them the way you do. Um, when In whatever topic you, you're currently, you know, talking about, I think it's awesome, you know, and I think that if they do step in, well, I don't think they will, but, you know, what's next? Uh, I, I know what you're saying, Leticia. Thank you. Andre on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. How's it going, Tom? It's Long great. Long time, first time. Thank you. I uh, just want to let you know that the first time I listened to your radio station, I was 16 years old, and I was doing driver's training. 
And the guy put it on while we're driving around my neighborhood, and I listen to you. And I, I have love it. that. And, yeah, <laughs> 16 years old. Well, anyways, Tom, you know, I'm, I'm 20 years old. I'm a university student. I go to the University of Southern California. I grew up in a you know a pretty good neighborhood. You know, grew up as a Republican. I still consider myself a Republican. And you know what? I don't understand. You know, from all this trauma that's going on with you know Palin and Obama and you know Biden and McCain is. If you look at Biden, isn't he just as big as an idiot? I mean, we look at his presidential, like, when he tried to run for president, and I think it was early 90s or 80s, he had to, he had to stop running because this guy was caught cheating, plagiarizing, stealing words that weren't his. I I mean, mean, but, not, but the point is, uh, that's not the same as just being stupid. Wouldn't you call that a stupid mistake? I would call, no, not to uh, get lack of intelligence. I would say uh, that it was uh, not well advised, and it was uh, certainly, uh, uh, I, I think, a bad idea and uh, misleading and uh, wrong. But not, it does not indicate stupidity. Plenty of smart people steal. Yeah, absolutely, Tom. I don't know, I guess what I'm trying to, like, what I don't really understand is, doesn't that kind of say something about his persona? Like, the actions he will well, take when he Well, I'll tell you what, when he plagiarizes again, I'm sure everybody will be on him like uh, flies on crap. All right, Tom, I love you, man. I just wanted to say that you are awesome, and I will never stop listening to you, and my sons will listen to you. Have a great day, man. Sounds good to me. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Bill in Portland, Oregon, home of the other white meat on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom, how are you doing? Doing great. Fantastic. I just a uh, little comment here. Uh, he should be able to do whatever he wants. You know, it's his property. If he wants to put the President Bush up there, he should be allowed to do it. They can allow bumper stickers all over this country saying anything and everything they want. If the guy wants to do it on his property, he should be allowed to. It's not a legal issue. And anybody that's got a problem with that... Get out. Now, that's a very important point, that it's the property of the person who uh, hangs Sarah Palin in effigy, and they should be able to do whatever they, uh, whatever's within their rights on their property. That's it. End of story. Exactly, Tom. I think you're great. i um, been thinking about you all day. I just wanted to mention that real quick. I won my, my uh, child support case today, and uh, you got a great topic here today. I appreciate it, and I uh, love you a lot, man. You take care. Bill, thank you. Adam on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello. I want to tell you you are a genius and a voice of reason, Tom. Why, thank you. I wanted to answer a question for you about hanged or hung. Yeah. A lot of people want to correct you and tell you that it's supposed to be hanged, but the truth is you're perfectly allowed to say it either way you want. That's what I thought, but I wasn't sure. I got a special request for you, Tom. Yeah. This probably already exists, but like you, I'm a great lover of freedom, and I would love to be taken out freedom style. And what would that be? Oh, I don't know. Maybe a gunshot. Who knows? A patriotic <laughs> song? I don't know. I'll, I'll give you a gunshot. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Here's Chris on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing, man? Doing okay. You know, with with the thing that's going on with the guy hanging and Sarah Palin and so and so forth. You know what I'm kind of tripped out is just how all the racism tactics are are coming out. I mean, to me, it seems like a lot of people are fearing that Obama's going to get in office. You know, from the skinheads trying to plot to assassinate. I mean, this the stuff that's going on. Maybe it's because a lot of us are are more or less starting to look at politics more because of the stuff that's going on. But I just can't believe the racism, man, is just coming out. Yeah. Yeah, but then, but by the way, don't forget the fact that despite these extremists and these morons, Barack Obama would not be president next week unless the majority white population votes for it. That's true. Yeah. So uh, even though there are racists and there is racism, an awful lot of people are going out there and voting for Barack Obama, uh, who you wouldn't expect. Yeah, that's a definite. I have to agree with that, man. Can I get you to take me out a special way? What do you want, Chris? I want to get taken out real special with a money shot, two erect nipples, and an Amos and Andy yeah. <laughs> You're the first person to realize that was Amos and Andy. I love it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. 
That's our telephone number. <laughs> There's two of them. Thank you. Let's say hello here to Veronica of the Tom Likas Show. Hey, Tom. Um, I just wanted to make a comment about the guy who called and said he was going to hang a uh, Obama effigy. And he actually, I mean, he's obviously intellectually constipated. Uh, but it was funny that he actually admitted watching Fox News. And I thought it was hilarious because we all know Fox News is about propaganda. It has nothing to do with real news. I just thought that was funny that he admitted that. Well, most importantly, Fox News is not news at all. It's talk shows, lots of talk shows. Yeah, talk shows, and, you know, it spreads the Republican propaganda. That's what they're all about, you know? Well, I think by now everybody knows what Fox News is, and there you go. 1-800-5800-TOM. Corey on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom, there's something that hasn't been pointed out in this conversation, and that is that the guy who has Sarah Palin hanging in his tree in West Hollywood, nothing is going to happen to him. But the guy who called earlier and said he was going to hang, you know, an effigy of the Democratic presidential candidate in his tree, if he does that, he will be uh, arrested prosecuted and he will go to jail for a hate crime well we're going to find out because i guarantee you that at some point before election day someone's going to do just that he probably yeah or after no 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 i think it's going to happen before i think it's going to happen sooner than that yeah i do i do uh i mean i don't care that sarah palin's hanging in the tree i think i kind of agree with you that she's a, a dim bulb but you have to admit i mean you can't just say it's a, a freedom of expression issue i mean because obviously yeah, it, there isn't uh, the same freedoms for Republicans and Democrats for this particular election. Well, again, I think uh, my opinion is that everybody should have the right to hang someone in effigy. It shouldn't matter who they are. It's a time-honored tradition in politics to hang people in effigy. And um, I would not get in the way of anybody exercising their right uh, to hang someone they disagree with in effigy. Absolutely you wouldn't, but the Secret Service would. I'm. I, you're, you're acting like you're so certain of this. I don't ever remember that happening. Somebody hanging a Democrat or a minority candidate uh, in effigy and then being arrested by the Secret Service. I, I, I recall no such story, and I know you don't either. Well, no, but keep an eye out for it, because when it does happen, that person will be prosecuted. I if it, it. Right, well, yeah, fine. They get, uh, so much for the guarantee. We'll see if you call back once someone does try it, because they're going to try it. They're going to do it. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. This is Mike in Portland, Oregon on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, how's it going? It's going great. Now, I'm a homeowner. I own a rental, a couple actually rental properties. But one of the rental properties, I have a, a, a black, an African-American guy that lives there. Um, and he's a, he's a cool guy. You know, he's a friend of mine. Um, he's not an Obama supporter, and he's also agnostic. Um, so I'm under the same vein of, of this conversation. How do you think it would be accepted if I were to not only hang a black person in effigy, Obama in this case, because, you know, he's not an Obama supporter, so that would be to support my renter, um, and even, you know, take it one step further with the anti-religion and uh, say that maybe I should burn a cross in his front yard as well. Um, since he's renting my property, it's my property, I can do whatever I want, but also since he's not an Obama supporter and he's agnostic, then he should actually like that, right, having a cross. Well, I, a person, i got to tell you something, and we've talked about it on the air before. Uh, you're barking up the wrong tree here. I, I'm opposed to laws against hate crimes. Uh, well, no, 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 it's not a hate crime. It's, it's Obama. No, no, but I'm opposed, I'm opposed, you don't understand, I'm opposed to any law. That would define free speech as a hate crime. Um, I, you know, certainly burning a cross on someone's front lawn is trespassing. Wrong. Terrible. And if you are out there intimidating people by doing things to their property, you should be punished to the fullest extent of the existing laws. No, you're, you're confusing it. He's renting my property. It's my house. Right. It's my property. Yeah. So it's, I should be able to do that, then you're saying? I'm saying that it's your property. I, well, first of all, uh, this is a very interesting question, but I think uh, you know it's your property. You should be able to do what you want with your property. By the same token, if he's renting your property, uh, technically uh, he's leased it, and therefore it's for his enjoyment, and therefore you shouldn't be over there doing anything other than the scheduled repairs and maintenance that you're scheduled to do. 
Well, no, of course, I agree with that. But let's just assume that he's not an Obama supporter and that he'd be cool with me hanging an Obama effigy in the front yard. Um, and he's agnostic, so he would be cool with me burning a cross. So if he's cool that. with it? If he's cool. cool, well, if he's cool with it, then and he's African American, he's cool with it. What's the problem? Exactly. But do you think that my house would survive the weekend? Well, that's a very good question. Uh, but again, uh, anyone who tried to burn your house down or hurt you would be breaking the law and would hope for hopefully be punished. Well, yes, we obviously we know that. But the question I have to you is realistically, this guy's house is safe as houses, part of the fun. My house, though, if it's just the reciprocate, if it's just the flip. My house is in danger. So are you saying we should take away the rights of the Sarah Palin person uh, just because of that? I'm saying that we should all use our heads and common sense and not act like a bunch of five-year-olds just because of an election. Well, uh, but hanging people in effigy is an old, time-honored tradition. It's been going on for a very long time. Didn't you know that? Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likas Show. Tom Likish Show. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Thank you for tuning in. Sarah Palin hanged in effigy in West Hollywood. Paul in Portland on the Tom Likish Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Great to hear from you. Thank you. Um, so I was calling to let you know that uh, there was actually an effigy hung of Barack Obama on George Fox University campus. I'm just looking at this uh, this article now that Dean sent to me, uh, and that happened apparently before the Sarah Palin effigy. Yes, yes, it did. It happened a few weeks ago. Why wasn't this a national story? I'm not asking you, it's I'm asking the guy who called it earlier. Yeah, you know, I'm surprised, but uh, it's it's a little bit different from what the guy who called in earlier was talking about because obviously it was on public property. It wasn't on uh, the phone, the the person's property who hung the effigy. Right. But, and uh, uh, although it was not, you know, it was not the property of the people, presumably not the property of the uh, people who uh, who who did the effigy. Uh, it uh, is private property, but it's owned by the university. Correct. Yeah. And uh, apparently the students uh, were suspended. Um, I believe they were actually later expelled, if, if I remember correctly, although I didn't uh, follow up on what, what exactly the criminal charges were. And I'm sure now that the Sarah Palin uh, hanging uh, in effigy uh, has gotten all this attention, there would be a lot more people trying to do it with Obama and Joe Biden. Yep. Sure it's going to happen. Jerry on the Tom Likas show, hello. Marcus, hello. What's up, Tom? Not much. Hey, man, I just wanted to say that the guy in, in uh, West Hollywood, it's like a backfire because, I mean, as you see with these callers, um, you know, your one caller is about to get his Obama mask or the gorilla outfit that'll do and then be taken out African tribal style with a machine gun. You know, that's that's what they're trying to get across. Right. And, uh, you know, that, that only makes Obama a victim, like, what, two days after an assassination plot, plot was uh, uh, made against him? So... I mean, it's just typical. I mean, and now you guys just revealed that there was already a Obama effigy hanging. So, you know, it, it just true colors being shown. That's that's all I really wanted to say. And uh, if you could, Tom, take me out the only civilized way, Kobe old school, but actually on second thought, take me out Dino style, which is turn off your damn radio. <laughs> <laughs> I, would, I would love to get that as a new style. Because uh, that was I guess get Dean step in here. <laughs> Let's get Dean in here right now. Yeah, Dino. We'll have him record it right now. Yeah. I can't do it. <laughs> we'll do it live. Okay. We're going to do it live. Go. We'll do it live. <laughs> wow, that was a great intro. Thank you. Mar <laughs> Sorry, so Marcus would like to be taken out Dino style. Turn yeah. off your damn radio. <laughs> Thank you, sir. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Valerie on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi, Valerie. 
Long time listener. <laughs> Thank you. Listen, what I'm calling about is when I first heard uh, or heard the story, I was pretty shocked that, um, first of all, they had a very nice red jacket on uh, hanging on that uh, thing. But since it was two gay men, I guess I just found that out today, and they were hanging a, a woman, I'm wondering why everyone all of a sudden wants to equate Sarah Palin with Barack Obama when her equivalent would be Joe Biden. Those are the two vice president, you know, presidential candidates. So everyone's calling said, oh, we should, you know, hang Obama. And, you know, well, because, thinking, you know, you know what they're saying. Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I'm just really shocked. I, I know said, what, what you're is- saying. You know what they're saying. But I'm going to remind you of something that I said earlier. These, of course, are the extremists. There's an awful lot of Caucasians who are going to be voting for Barack Obama, and they're the ones going to make him the president. Yes, that's true. That's true. So we have to keep our perspective. It is just a few hands full that feel that way. Can you take me out Bill O'Reilly style? Yes, Valerie, I can. Can't do it. Okay. We'll do it live. Okay. We'll, no. we'll do it live! Do it live! I can, I'll write it and we'll do it live! This f- thing sucks! Uh, the Factor for Kids, available now on Amazon.com. Wouldn't you love this man telling your children how to behave? There he is. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Here is Ruben on the Tom Likas show. Hey, what's going on, Tom? How you doing? I'm doing okay, Ruben. Hey, man, I love your show. I've been listening since uh, about 2000, and um, you really stepped it up like this last couple of weeks during this election coverage. I've learned so much from you. It's incredible. Thank you. Uh, My uh, opinion regarding the Sarah Palin thing is, um, first of all, I'm an African-American man, so, you know, hanging people in effigy, uh, that sort of uh, gets my attention. I uh, don't have any problem with it. It's, if it's somebody's personal property, then it's cool. I mean, that, that's, that's uh, you know, their their right to expression. Um, now, it's funny that uh, I heard you saying that uh, Dino emailed you that um, the uh, article on uh, Barack being hung in effigy on public property, and it's funny how that hasn't, that, that didn't make a See, national headline. That's national exactly news. right. That was not a national story, and you got to wonder about that. Got to run, Ruben. Thanks for the call. It's the Tom Likas Show.